a question. We jump in on that. I'd love to hear a question. Would you love to hear a question? I would. This is a good one. I think this might this might maybe maybe ignite your anger node. Maybe not anger. I don't think okay. I'm okay. I'm, I'm ready. But I'm it's going to make you be like, what the fuck? All right. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. have that. I have that trigger in me. <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah. All right. Well, then here we go. What do you say when someone asks, why can't you just be a feminine guy? The question has always stumped me when people ask it every now and then. And then the little thing where it's like a face where the mouth goes like this. Yeah. But I saw that. And I was like, oh, anytime someone asks like, uh, questions about like how do you respond to this and i uh, you know for me it's always like you don't have to respond to this but i feel like you know we might be able to help a little here yeah we could but it's such a stupid question it's like i it mean that's is. the first thing you would say you're like wow that's a stupid question yeah that's a really stupid question whoever s- said that you must be a stupid person <laughs> you dumb idiot uh, it's i don't want to go like too hard on it because it's like I want to believe in my heart that there's a certain percentage of people that honestly are just coming from pure ignorance and not exactly. That's why I thought, that's why I thought we could, we could, yeah, we could put together a decent answer, right? A decent answer for this question. Cause I think that the person that's asking that honestly is just has no concept of what it's like to be trans at all, or even what it is. That question, if it's honest, is coming from the perspective of a cis person that's never had any gender issues, that's that's always felt comfortable in their assigned gender and is perfectly happy to be their assigned gender, which is most people, and that's fine, and that's great, and, and bully for them, you know? But for the rest of us, for those of us that feel extremely uncomfortable in our assigned gender well it doesn't just work doesn't just work that way it's not just about being feminine it's the whole package it's the way you're treated it's the way you physically look is super important it's the way your body feels it's how your brain works it's all of these aspects when you're trans essentially you're getting poisoned with the wrong hormones and it feels like physical garbage. It feels like shit that gets fixed with HRT that fixes that hormonal imbalance and, and sets it correct. It solves so many problems beyond just like making your body look different, like which it does a great job of that too. <laughs> like a, a miraculous, amazing job of that. But equally as important, it makes you feel all right. It gives you a will to live. It makes you feel not hopeless, not miserable, and not exceptionally uncomfortable in your own skin so all of those reasons are why it's not good enough to just stay kind of building on what you said this is just like a person who doesn't understand these are the people who are just like oh you're just in a dress and it's like if i didn't wear dresses i'd still be trans it's it's about like you said it's about hormones it's about alignment with your body and your mind and your spirit and your hormones and all of that is out of alignment the trifecta and, mind body and, soul and yeah, being a Robin Williams improv bit is not going to make that work. It's not who I am. And, you know, there are, there are feminine dudes out there and cool for them. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's not me. Yeah. When this comes from like right wingers, it's like, oh, well, now you guys want a feminine men all around? Get the fuck out of here. Like, like they'd be okay with that. It's dishonest. We're not addressing the We're dishonest, not addressing those. transphobe, yeah. turfy, fuck twats. If that they are, are those types, they're some like, bullshit. That, we're we're to assuming live? those people are out of the yeah. picture. We're we're doing this they come from up to you the perspective of an uh, that being asked honestly and they're just by a, 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 yeah an ignorant person you can find information out there about what being trans is you can't right? educate yourself you can't educate, educate yourself, yourself is a better way to put it i think educate is the important thing because you can find this from experts and educators who will educate you on this as opposed to go to legitimate sources not some yeah. dude in a truck with a with his cell phone like telling you how it is like, yeah. walsh is in his basement not a truck yeah not but, but, jackass yeah. but there are actual sources like you can go to like the world health organization the american medical association there's biology textbooks there's all sorts of resources for the actual 
what it actually is like from a scientific and medical perspective of the condition of being transgender. If someone wants to transition and you just tell them to be an effeminate guy, that's the that's the trans version of just saying we have McDonald's at home. That question in and of itself implies that there's something wrong with being trans. Why don't you just be a feminine guy? That way you're not trans. It's like, well, you still are. First of all, like, and second of all, it's like, what's wrong with with switching your genders? What's wrong with changing that? Like, that's the ultimate problem that I have with that question, because like, that's saying that like, it's, it's, there's something inherently ethically or morally wrong with, with changing your gender. And I, I don't think that there is at all. I, I think it's a really healthy thing to do for people that need to do it. Or want to anything where someone wants to do something and someone says, "Why don't you just do this instead?" It's like that's not it's not it's not what I want to do, and it's not who I am, and it's not where I'm at. So no, not- right? That's like if you go into a restaurant and it's like, "I want the steak tartare," and like they're like, "Well, you, why don't you just get a pork chop instead?" I guess I could do that. It's not what I want. Like you know, it's like. <laughs> The person at the next table is like, oh, raw steak. I don't like that. Could you please have a pork chop instead? Yeah. You're like, you're offending what are you, me. What are you talking like, about? You're ordering what you want off the menu. You're not a That's part of this. That's against my beliefs, so you're not allowed. It's preposterous. The whole thing is just, it's just nonsense. So f- to the question asker asking this, what do I say? <laughs> Depending on how hard you want to go. You could decide that you want to learn all the reasons and figure out exactly why and have that at the ready so that you're prepared to answer that question. Or you can just tell them to mind their own business. Really, the answer to that is like, well, it's my business because it's my body and my life and that's what I want. And that should be the end of it right there. It's none of their fucking business. Like, at all. Give me the old, no, yeah, no, I'm not. (laughs) Yeah, get Minnesota on it. Oh, yeah. No, 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 yeah, yeah, no, 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 not going to do that. Not that. Yeah, no, I'm not going to be doing that. If we can make answering assholes in a Minnesota accent a trans you know stereotype I'm oh like, i love that i love, I love that. being dismissive on that level it's just yeah, yeah no no yeah, no yeah no we're not gonna be doing that oh sweetheart no yeah no we're not doing that no uh-uh no uh no no sorry bob 